Yo, you're tuning in live to Give Him Heaven podcast with Brother Brian from Kingdom Music Ministries. And it's truly more than music, y'all. Yeah. I ain't trying to blend in. I'm trying to stand out. I'm creative for greatness, man. It's already planned out. I ain't trying to blend in. Man, I'm trying to stand out. I'm creative for greatness, man. It's already planned out. Minister of music, citizen of heaven. Jesus gets the glory, worship is my weapon. Minister of music, citizen of heaven. Jesus gets the glory, yes, this worship is my weapon. It's in the presence with praise, I'm giving thanks to you. Telling everybody I know how I get my strength from you. Memorize these scriptures, hold on to your promises. Everything you promised us, my future looks so promising. Heal the brokenhearted and those who are crushed in spirit. You save me from the darkness, the love of Jesus is fearless, yeah. Uh, I know my gift is gonna make room for me. And I'm amazed with every mountain that you move for me I pray this life is in thy sight Thank you for salvation, for the new life that's in Christ A friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God You better tell the world don't be an enemy of God To truly be a follower of Christ, it cost me everything I lost everything and Jesus, I got everything I know the gift I got today is gonna make room for me And I'm amazed with every mountain that you move for me Yo, I pray it's pleasing in thy sight Thank you for salvation, for the new life that's in Christ I ain't trying to blend in, I'm trying to stand out I'm creative for greatness, man, it's already planned out I ain't trying to blend in, man, I'm trying to stand out I'm creative for greatness, man, it's already planned out I'm not a Spotify rapper, <laughs> I know I'm different, man I'm not gonna compromise just to be in a different lane You don't have to say Jesus in every song you sing but I wanna say Jesus in every song I sing But you can reach the others if you just change up the message You sound like the others when you try to change this message You don't feel the urgency to tell this world about them You like, let's just make good music, hope they get saved the next album Nah, it's disappointing when I get inside your politics They say Christian hip-hop, but really, they mean the opposite You should see the way they act without their green room If you don't pay my money first, I promise I'ma leave soon uh. Always stuck in your entitlement Shame on you for making this about you in the shine you get yo. You only care about your ticket sales That's why I hope none of your ticket sales I could care less about being met on the playlist I want them to pray more, you want them to pray less I could care less about being on someone's playlist I want them to pray more, you want them to pray less Man, the love of God is sacred My father has no favorites and only Jesus can save us huh? Hey, I'm trying to stand out. I'm creative for greatness, man. It's already planned out. I ain't trying to blend in, man. I'm trying to stand out. Creative for greatness, man. It's already planned out. Yo, you tuning in to Give Him Heaven podcast with Brother Brian with Kingdom Music, Freedom Music, Jesus Music. Woo! Hey, I'm talking about standing out for God these days. Amen. Man, that's a new one on my heart. Just wanted to share, man. Shout out to everybody just tuned in. Jesus loves you. We love you. And I just want to share the, the, the love of God, man. Um, first off, let's just thank God for, for what he's doing in our lives and just grateful for who he is. Amen. Are you grateful? The word of God says, thank you, Lord, for your word. First off, just thank you for everybody that's tuned in, every family member represented, everybody who's out there. Uh, God, I thank you for another day of life, Lord, because we weren't even promised to have another, 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 forgiveness, amen, can you hear me? Maybe, my bad, maybe they feel like they're too far from forgiveness, but you can be forgiven, and I want you to know that out there, that you can be forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so I just declare that over your life, that how much the Father loves you, Lord, heal the broken hearted, those who tuned in that feel empty, that are broken, God, that need just a fresh word, a fresh oil, a fresh increase of love, of maybe a revelation. Maybe they don't, they don't understand the depth of your love of what you did for us, Jesus. Let that sink into their hearts and their minds today, Father God. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. 
The word of God says, may the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they pour out smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praises to my God while I live. May my meditation be pleasing to him. I will rejoice in the Lord. May sinners vanish from the earth and the wicked people be no more. My soul bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for your word. All of them wait for you and you give them food right on time. Everyone who waits for you, prays for you, seeks your face, God, you always show up right on time. You've called us to be faithful. You've called us to be set apart from this world, not to be conformed to this world. And I pray, Father God, that my brothers and sisters, my new, the new believers, the, those who've been walking with you, God, that today, Father God, we, we truly remember the mission, Father God, to draw other people to you, to be in the world, but not in this world, to be in it, but not really in it, not of this world, God, to belong and be citizens of heaven. My brother, Pastor Warren calls it heavens, Lord, to remember that we belong to, to a place of righteousness, a kingdom that cannot be shaken, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your truth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing right now. I thank you for what you're doing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I just want to, I just want to tune in real fast. I just want to tune in real fast that, that you know right now where you're at. And why we should be separated because it's so easy to say that you fit in right it's so easy for you to say you know what uh it's easy for me to to just go to church and and be church on on when on the days that i want to go to church and, and be churchy and then on monday i don't act like i belong to the body but the word of god says in john uh second john 15 8 through 20 it says if the world hates you keep in mind that it hated me first so if you're worried about people hating you for loving jesus it's gonna happen it's going to happen. People are not going to like the holy life you live. Matter of fact, the life you live will be convicting and offensive to people. Especially when you choose not to cuss. When you choose to speak truth. When you choose to be faithful. When you choose to say, I don't want to be drunk. I don't want to be high. I don't want to sell drugs. I don't want to gangbang. When you choose to say, I want to live a life that's better. You call it a square life. You call it a normal life. Whatever you want to call it. I want a life that's better. And I can only find that life in Christ. And that life that I live, it's going to be offensive to family and friends. It's going to bring a division where people who don't want to live that life will say, you think you're better. Aha, your God's not real. Aha, they're looking for moments to discredit your faith. They're looking for moments to discredit the belief that you have inside your heart. But glory to God. Thank God for looking upon his children and saying the prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. God is going to use his power. He's going to dwell inside of you. He's going to draw people to him just by your obedience and saying, I will be used. But you have to be willing to be set apart. You have to be willing to stand out. You have to be willing to say, you know what? I don't fit in at work. I don't fit in at grandma's house when they're getting drunk. You're right. I'm not that person no more. I am a new creation. Old things have passed away. All things become new. I'm not going to sit in gossip. I'm not going to sit in slander. I'm not going to be that person that caused trouble. I'm not going to speak lies. I want to be a different person. And because of Jesus, I can. With the power of the Holy Spirit, I can live a holy life. With the power of the Holy Spirit, I can forgive my enemies. With the power of the Holy Spirit, I can go into in atmospheres and situations and I can begin to pray and ask God to calm the storm. I can begin to pray and ask God to, be, to shift the atmosphere where there's paranoia and there's, there's grief and there's depression and there's thoughts of suicide and bondage. I can lift up the name of Jesus and because I believe in the one who saved me and because greater is he who lives in me than he who's of this world, the atmosphere will begin to shift. And I can speak peace that he gives me to you. We are called to be set apart so we could be used for a greater purpose. Come on, saints. Hashtag that we are set apart because we are to be used for a greater purpose. I don't know about you, but I want to be used for a greater purpose right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I love you and I love you. I love you. I love you. And I thank you for I thank you for giving giving us something, a kingdom that, that cannot be shaken, for giving us the promises that are yes and amen right now. Somebody needs to believe that out there because you believe in the enemy lies for so long. You believe the devil when he tells you you're nothing and you begin to think, man, I'll never be nothing. But that's a lie from Satan. You are something. You are wonderfully made in the image of your creator. And God has called you not to blend in, but to stand out. Hashtag that. I won't blend in. I will stand out for Christ. Hashtag that right now. I won't blend in. I will stand out for Jesus. When no one else wants to pray, I'll stand up and stand out and pray, God. When no one else wants to love and make peace, I'll stand up and stand out and make peace, God. I will honor you. I say yes to you, Jesus. I say yes to you, Father God. 
I make a commitment today, right now. Come on, everybody on YouTube, social media, the TV station, when you're hearing this, I want you to make a vow to God. Say, I've been saying yes to the wrong things for so long, Lord. I've been saying yes to the wrong person, the wrong people, the wrong habits. Oh, Father God, today I renounce the evil. I renounce the allegiance that I made to, to myself. I, allow, I renounce the allegiance that I made to Satan, to the wicked desires. I say yes to you. I want to stand out for you, Jesus. I'm not afraid to stand out. If they laugh at me, it's okay. They laughed at you. If they if they spit on me, it's okay. They spit on you. If they hit me, it's okay. They hit you, Father God. You went through everything before I ever did. Shame on me, God. Forgive me, Lord. When I get when I get fearful, forgive me, God. When I forget that you went to the obedience of the of the cross, even to death for me. You took the lashes for me. You took the separation for me. You were forsaken because of me. Oh Lord, I want to stand out for you, Jesus. I want to stand out for you, Jesus. Come on, saints. I don't know who you are, but you've been blending in too long. It's called for you to come and stand out. The word of God wants you to stand out. Let's say what it says. 2 Timothy 3, 11, 14. You know about the troubles and the hard times I had. He says, you have seen how I suffered in the city of Antioch and Inconum and Lystra. Yet the Lord brought me out of all those troubles. God's going to bring you out of every single trouble you go through. You will have troubles, but God will bring you out of them. He says, yes, all who want to live a godly life. Oh, look, all who want to live a godly life, everyone who wants to stand out. He says, live life the, who belong to Christ Jesus will suffer from others. You will. He said, sinful men and false teachers will go from bad to worse. They will lead others the wrong way and will be led the wrong way to themselves. But as for you, as for you, man of God, as for you, woman of God, it says, hold on to what you have learned and know to be true. Remember where you learned them from. God says, in Luke 14, 27 through 28, look, are you willing to lose your life? You must count the cost of being a Christian. It's going to cost you everything. Oh, it's going to cost you everything. I don't know who told you that when you come to Jesus, that life gets better. That's a lie. All hell breaks loose, but you're going to respond better. You got to give, you're going to give up everything for Jesus. It's a cost. You got to hate your own life. You got to love God's life more than your life. You cannot, the Holy Spirit can't rule you. The, listen, the Holy Spirit can't lead you if you have yourself on the throne. You're, you got to take yourself off the throne today. You've been wondering what's been keeping you from being spirit led. You've been wondering what's been keeping you from, from feeling the fullness of God, from feeling so close to God. It's self. It's self. Take the self off the throne right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, deny yourself. Deny your own plans and say, God, if my plans are not your plans, cancel them. Oh, that's hard for you to say, right? Because you, you want to make your own plans. You want God to stamp them. But you have to give up everything. It cost him everything. It's going to cost you everything. Deny yourself today. Deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow him. Say, God, I want to know the plans that you have for my life. I've been making my own plans, but I need to know your plans first. I lost everything, but in Jesus, I got everything. Listen, I lost everything, but in Jesus, I got everything. To truly be a follower of Christ is going to cost us everything. You can't be self-centered no more. It can't be about what you want. It's only what God wants for you. That's how you be spirit-led. That's how you said, thy will be done. Not Brian's will be done. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven right now. God, let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in my marriage. Let your will be done right now. Oh, say no to self right now. Take yourself off the throne. Say, I won't blend in. I will stand out. Hashtag that. I won't blend in. I will stand out. Matthew 8, 16, 25 to 27 says, if you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. If you're trying to hold on to you, you're going to lose your life. Listen, but if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in the glory of the Father and will judge all the people according to their deeds. There is a day of judgment. There is a day of glory where the King of Kings will come back for his children. They call it the rapture, the great gathering, whatever you want to call it. But there's a day that Christ comes back for his bride. He's coming back for a bride that is ready for him. Not alert, not blending in. He's coming back for a bride that will stand out for him, that won't compromise with the ways of the world. I want to be ready when you come, Jesus. I want to be ready when you come. I used to get ready for the wrong things. I used to be ready to put in work. I used to be ready to get high. I used to be ready to hit the club. But today, I renounce all those wicked desires. I want to be ready to be used. I want to be ready to forgive. I want to be ready to pray. I want to be ready to stand out for you. I want to be the hands and the feet of Jesus Christ. Come on, y'all. I won't blend in. I will stand out. I'm trying to encourage somebody out there today that you've been, you've been riding the fence. You've been compromising. Nobody knows if you saved or if you're not saved. 
You know what I mean? Like your life doesn't tell who you belong to and you want to belong to Jesus, but you've been put in self before Christ. But it stops right now. Come on, y'all. It stops right now in the name of Jesus. I won't blend in. I will stand out. I will stand out in the mighty name of Jesus. You, you ain't supposed to fit in. Seeking joy in, in all the wrong places. Seeking joy. Uh, you get more excited about, about a, a new flavor of Ciroc. You get more excited about a new flavor of Hennessy or drink. You got to be excited about three church services. You got to be excited about three podcasts. Give them heaven. You got to be excited about a, a, a non-believer becoming a believer. You got to be excited about your enemies becoming your friends. When the way you live pleases the Lord, he makes your enemies be at peace with you. As, as much as you can, you got you to gotta live in a way that honors God. And God's going to take care of the things that need to be taken care of for you but that doesn't mean that you won't have opposition that doesn't mean that you might have not have financial problems that doesn't mean that you will you won't experience the loss of a loved one and, and heartache but in these times in these times that you chose to stand out for God let me tell you how faithful he is I'm, I'm not speaking about something I heard out of experience in my worstest day on earth when I lost my twin on my worstest day on earth when I felt the pain ache inside my soul where no drug no alcohol no person on earth could 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 even numb the pain or take the pain the only one that could comfort me, the only one that could give me hope was the Prince of Peace. So I'm telling you right now, you tried everything. You're trying everything else, but Jesus, right now you need to surrender. Right now you need to make a commitment to follow him. And not with half your heart. You need to give him all your heart today. You need to come to the end of self. You need to take yourself off the throne and put Christ on the throne of your life and say, thy will be done, Lord. Thy will be done. Come on. Come on, saints. Thy will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. Standing out and being different. Romans 12, 2 says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That by testing you may discern what the will of God is, what is good and acceptable and perfect. That's the only way you're going to find out what God has for your life. Look, you got to pick it up. You got to pick it up. You got to read. You got to seek. You got to pray. You got to memorize these scriptures. You got to hold on to these promises. This is what's going to help you in spiritual warfare. This is what's going to help you on the days that you don't know what else to do. You got to hold on to the word of God, the promises he promised to you. That's the only way your future looks promising. It says in 1 Peter 2, 9, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. God said, I've chosen you. I've chosen you, woman of God. I've chosen you, man of God. I've chosen you, child of God, to be holy, to be set apart, and to stand out, especially in the dark generation right now where they don't want God. We need the light to shine the brightest right now. It's the urgency out there to tell this word about them. It's the urgency that we raise up our children to be men of God and women of God because the enemy's trying to dim the light of Jesus, and he can't. The deeper the darkness, the brighter we shine. You hear that, Satan? The deeper the darkness, the brighter we shine. Our, our king will return, and we'll be ready in the wake, and we'll be alert without spot, blemish, or wrinkle because we won't blend in we will stand out we won't blend in we will stand out in the name of Jesus it says in the book of James 4 7 submit yourselves therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee from you the first the first words is submit submit to God not to self submit to God the Holy Spirit can't move if you're in front of him God cannot fill you up if you're filled with you if you're full of you there's no filling up of him empty yourself take yourself off the throne right now in the name of Jesus it says in Genesis 1:27, so God created man in his own image to be like him in the image of God. He created him, male and female. He created them. God didn't create you to be wicked. He didn't create you to be something different. He created you to be him in him, different, righteous, holy, partaking in his glory, clothed in the robe of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. It says in Ephesians 2.10, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. God has something planned for you. God has something planned for you so beautiful before, before you, 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 you even had your plans. There was already plans and a purpose for your life. And I'm telling, I'm speaking that over you. If you feel like, why was I born? Why, why did God even make me to suffer? It was never made for you to go through these hard times. God created you for something beautiful. Right now, I'm telling you, you have a purpose for your life. There's a reason for your life. There is a season right now that God is preparing you for because you were chosen, a royal priesthood for his possession. It says in the book of Philippians 4.13, remember, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. You're saying, I don't know if I could do it. You can do it. God is saying, in me, you can do many things. In me, you can do anything. There was forgiveness in him. There was restoration in him. You were not called to blend in. You were called to stand out. You were called to be a, a vessel of forgiveness, a vessel of love, a vessel of compassion. One who shares with those who are lacking in need. You got to remember that, man of God, woman of God. What were you created for? To bring glory to him. 
Not to build your kingdom, but to build his kingdom. To walk in, in his identity in the name of Jesus. Right now in Ephesians 6, 13 says, Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in all the evil day, and having done all, stand firm. Stand firm in the name of Jesus. Stand firm in the name of Jesus. Hold on to the promises of God right now. You are not called to blend in. You are called to stand out and stand firm and stand strong in Christ Jesus alone. Right now I'm declaring this over you. 1 Corinthians 6, 13. Be watchful. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men and be strong. Don't run away from God. You run to God. Don't run from the fight. You stay in the fight. Don't give up right now. It's not even for you. This battle belongs to the Lord. This battle belongs to the Lord. You, you want to know what? You've been holding on to that drug. You've been holding on to the, to the hands of somebody who, who, who beat you. Somebody in the hands of somebody who cheats on you. Somebody who doesn't deserve your heart. This is what I want you to do. This is the only thing you need to do. Flush the drug. Let go of that hand. Walk away from that street life. Walk away from, from your plans and say, God, I want your will. I want to walk the narrow road right now. That's all you got to do and watch what God does. But you have to do your part. Your obedience shows your faith. Your obedience shows your faith. You flushing the drug shows that you have faith that God can help you. You letting go of that relationship that's toxic shows that God can help you. You weren't called to sit there. You weren't called to be in depression. You weren't called to, to waste the rest of your energy and life into something or somebody who doesn't love you. Something or somebody that would destroy you. Come home, man. Come home in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. I don't know what you're going through out there, but I had to tune in. Before I get back on the road, I had to tune in just, just for a little while to remind you, you were called to stand out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, bless every single person listening. Bless those, Father God, who are struggling right now with doubt. Those who have voices in their head. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. Every voice of doubt, every voice of discord, every voice of disbelief be removed from the minds right now. Lord, it's simple. It says in the Bible, whoever should call upon you shall be saved. Lord, save us from us, Lord. Save us from us, Lord. Save us from us, God. We always get in the way. We always put self in the way of what you have for us. I'm praying right now for peace that surpasses all understanding. I'm praying right now for peace that surpasses all understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove anything that's not of you, anything that would distract me, remove it right now in the name of Jesus. I pray right now for your overflow of your spirit, an overflow of your love, an overflow of your power right now. Lord, those who are calling out to you, meet them where they're at right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. Heal that broken heart right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore that broken marriage right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I pray for my brother Paul right now. Paul's in, I see you right now, God. I'm praying right now that you breathe breath into his lungs, Father God. I'm praying right now that you, that you do something supernatural. We lift up brother Paul in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, have your way right now. I'm praying for his wife, for his family, God. For everybody in the hospitals dealing, dealing with a sickness or COVID, whatever it is. Those who are lacking things, God. Your hand is enough. Your healing is enough. Your presence is enough. I'm asking that your presence will just usher into that hospital. That your presence will usher into that living room. Usher into that work site. Usher into that man's heart that's broken. Usher underneath the bridge where there's somebody who's less fortunate, who doesn't have a home, God. I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus that you make a way, God. We call upon you, Lord. My brothers and sisters throughout this world, and we stand in agreement. Help us to stand out for you, Lord. Help us to meet these needs around us, God. We depend on the power of the Holy Spirit, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave. King Jesus, you took the perfect sacrifice on Calvary. You went through, you, you went ahead and took our sins upon your body, and they weren't even yours, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cover us in your righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. Clothe us in your robe, Father God. Forgive us when we're prideful. Forgive us when we're selfish. Forgive us when we're self-centered. Forgive us when we make everything about us, titles about us, entitlement, God. All the glory belongs to you. All that we have belongs to you. Forgive us, Father God, when we, when we forget these things, Lord. I'm praying for your peace, Lord. I'm praying for, for your healing, God. I'm praying that you touch someone out there that needs to be touched, God. Baptize them in your love. Baptize them in forgiveness. Baptize them in redemption. Baptize them in restoration. Baptize them in healing. Complete and whole. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, saints. I'm not trying to blend in. I'm trying to stand out. Come on, y'all. I'm trying to stand out in the name of Jesus. I love you guys. Give them heaven podcast, man. I just had to tune in. I just want to let y'all know what's going on. Who cares what people think about you? I don't know who that is out there. You care what people think about you. 
Who cares what people think about you? Start worrying about what God thinks about you. Start worrying about what, how God looks at you. He's been calling. He's been knocking on your heart. He's been wanting you to come. I love you. Jesus loves you, man. Shout out to uh, little Junior JR, six years old, man. Happy birthday from Kingdom Music and Brother Brian. I just want to give you a shout out. Happy birthday, child of God. I, I speak the blessings and the peace of Jesus over you and your family. Shout out to everybody on here. I'm looking now, I'm looking at some of the messages. Stand out. Shout out to the whole team. Shout out to the Kingdom Music staff, the family and friends. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Yes, man. If you're tuning in and you're, you're trying to get involved in discipleship, this is what I need you to do. Tap in to www.kingdommusic.org. If you go to www.kingdommusic.org, they have, they have everything that we're doing from discipleship to men, plug into there. To discipleship to women, plug into there. We got a kids discipleship we're about to start. We got the, uh, a widow's ministry called Open the Windows about to start. Uh, we got the dates of the events of the revivals that we're going through. There's different ways to, to just see what's, what the ministry is doing. I encourage you to go over there, check that page out. Uh, we have so much going on. But only thing that matters right now, though, is if you want to be connected to Jesus. And if you want to be connected, this is what I want you to do. I just want you to say, Father God... Save me from me. Jesus, save me from me. If I don't know you the way I should know you, I'll, sh I want to know you. Show me you. Show me your glory. Show me more about you. Give me an appetite to want to learn more. Help me understand when I read, Holy Spirit. Help me not to be ashamed of you like you're not ashamed of me. Your faith makes you whole. Get connected to a local body. Get disciple. Go get baptized, man. Go give them heaven. This world is dark and it needs your light. I need you. I need your faith. We need your faith. Your children need your faith. Your wife needs your faith. Your husband needs your faith. Your family needs your faith. Your enemy needs your faith. Hey, don't blend in. Stand out for Jesus. I declare this right now in this precious name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is good, y'all. Yup. Give him heaven podcast. You tuning in. Always stand out. That's right. I pray for every situation, every everybody out there who needs prayers. Leave your prayer request on there. I'm going to try to go through them. My team will go through them. We'll stand in agreement that God will meet you where you're at. Yeah, God is good. Amen, y'all. Amen. God is good. God is so good. Thank you, Lord. Yes. No, baby. I love you. Jesus loves you. Give him heaven podcast. You tuning in. Make sure that you, you tune in next week. I'll be back. I just wanted to get on here and encourage you. If there's any prayer requests, make sure you keep your prayer requests on there. Kingdommusic.org, man. We love you. Jesus loves you. Be blessed, y'all. Precious name.